Hi guys, welcome to our QX section today. And then uh, I'm Kathy. I'm Ken. And then today's our topic is talking about the Yabors turning mode. And then we are going to mention about like features and then the use cases. And then so Ken, let's start it. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. And then how many turning points, uh, how many turning modes does Yabor have? And then what are they? And then uh, what factors should be considered when choosing the turning mode? Sure. So we have three primary turning modes. Mm -hmm. um, the first one is smart turn. The second one is U-turn, mm -hmm. and the third one is zero turn. Yeah. Um, and they all kind of get used in, in different different cases. Mm -hmm. um, also, because you can set up Yarbo to use uh, different turning modes on different areas of your lawn, you're not married to only picking one turning mode for your entire lawn, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, so to give you an example, if we take the smart turn, smart turn predominantly uses uh, three-point turns when it gets to the end of each pass. So Yarba goes down one way, mm -hmm. when it turns around to come back the other way, it's going to make a three-point turn, so it's going to turn forward, mm -hmm. back up, and then line itself up for the next run. Um, so it, examples of where you might want to use some kind of different turns. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why we default to smart turn is it's the most delicate uh, or it's the easiest on your lawn. So mm -hmm. as far as turf goes, right, if you have sensitive grass like tall fescue, mm -hmm. um, really, you know, uh, well-maintained grass, but it's delicate, it's gonna be the easiest on it. If you have areas that get a little wet, mm -hmm. uh, three-point turns are very, very easy on the lawn. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing you wanna look out for, or another way you might use one of the other turning modes is say zero turn. Zero turn is by far the most aggressive mm -hmm. uh, as far as on the lawn. It gives you the best traction. An example where you might wanna use that is really, really steep hills um, or certain types of grass. So mm -hmm. like zoysia um, is a very, very tough grass. It's almost like a carpet. Mm -hmm. And you can zero turn on that all day long with our turf track and you will not damage it. Um, mm -hmm. So there's other benefits like the um, three point turn or smart turn. It takes a little longer to make those turns, but it's much easier on the grass. The zero turn is much faster to turn around, but um, but it's also harsher on the grass. Mm -hmm. So the nice part is, is that if you have hills, you can choose you know a U-turn or a zero turn for those hills if they're really, really steep. Um, and then in the open areas of your yard that are maybe flatter, you can choose three-point turns. So it's nice that you have that option. Mm -hmm. And just to touch on the U-turns, um, U-turns are good for big open areas. Um, so Yarbo will basically drive forward Forward and then make a sweeping turn to come back the opposite mm. way uh, instead of turning in place. So it's kind of a, a compromise between our three-point turn, which takes the longest, but mm -hmm. is you know super gentle on the lawn. Then we have our U-turn, which is kind of in the middle, and then we have our uh, um, sorry zero turn. I see. So also, I want to know like about the zero turn. Like, what about in the like driveway dur uh, during the snow seasons? Sure. So we strictly use zero turns on the driveway, mm -hmm. uh, on the driveway, and for sidewalks as well because it gives us the most traction. So in zero turn, we're turning one tread. If we want to make a left turn, we're going to turn the right tread full power mm -hmm. and the left tread back power, mm -hmm. and that's going to give us um, the maximum traction. So that's why we use that specifically in snow uh, and in winter tasks. I see, I see, I see. So you also like already mentioned like advantage and then some limitation of the, the turnings, but yeah. can you still like kind of like point out some key points and then like which is like recommended for the turning point, turning mode? Yeah, sure. So a zero turn um, you want to use if you have a very durable turf, mm -hmm. right? Or you're looking to maybe a rough cut in certain areas of your, of your yard where you just want to keep the vegetation down, mm -hmm. but you, you don't really care about uh, the quality of the lawn. Maybe you don't have a really healthy lawn there. You just want mm. it done the quickest possible, right? Or you have a really, really steep hill. You don't want to get on it with a ride on lawn mower. You want Yarbo to handle it, but it's extremely steep. You could choose zero turn. Um, okay. You can also, when you create your plan, mm -hmm. you can choose the angle that it moves at. So, um, so that's, that's important too. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a, where you kind of want to use zero turns. Um, three point turns, again, that's the default. That's the most, uh, time consuming to, to, uh, execute, but it's the, easiest on your lawn. Mm. Um, so that's good for, again, big open areas. Um, and, and most lawns you can do zero turns on or smart turns, I should say. So mm -hmm. smart turn is basically going to do three point turns wherever it can. Mm -hmm. And if it can't do a, a three point turn, it's going to make smooth turns, um, mm. but it's not going to U-turn and it's not going to zero, like zero turn. turn. So right. they have, still have like difference. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. 
All right. So uh, I want to know, like, how effective are the tur uh, three turning modes in like coverage different areas, like special, like narrow areas and narrow passengers? Sure. So good question. So in narrow areas, zero turn is going to give you uh, the the most narrow area that you can turn around in, right? Because mm -hmm. Yarbo is basically going to turn in place. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the roughest on turf, um, mm -hmm. but you can turn around on it. So again, if you have a tall fescue type lawn, you want to be careful where you use zero turns. Mm -hmm. But if you have Zoiza, you can set to zero turn just fine and you can turn around in a narrow passage. Mm -hmm. um, U-turn, you're going to need a little bit more space, probably like three times the size of Yarbo. Oh, yeah. And then uh, for a three-point turn, which you probably don't want to use in narrow spaces, um, you would, you could, you could do a three point turn, but mm -hmm. you'd have to have, be about four times the width of your elbow. Mm -hmm. Um, if it's a really, really narrow space, the best thing to do is a dead end. Mm -hmm. So basically your elbow will just drive into the narrow area, the width of itself yeah. and then back, back up. up. Yeah. I see. I see. Good, good, good. So also I want to know like what, how were components that are involved in the turning process? Sure. So for the 2023 version, um, we have, the cameras, the two cameras in the front, but the binocular cameras, yep. two cameras on the side. Yep. And then we have two ultrasonic sensors in the front, mm -hmm. uh, ultrasonic sensor in the back, and then our bumper if we contact something. But the ultrasonic sensor is there to, pre to prevent that in the back. On the 2024 version, we have two cameras in the front, again, mm -hmm. two ultrasonic sensors. Mm -hmm. We have one camera on each side, like the 2023 version, mm -hmm. but in the back, we actually have binocular cameras in the back as well. Mm -hmm. So that gives us more situational awareness. Um, so when we're backing up, we can predict what's there and, and move faster, not have to move as slow. Um, so we also use, in addition to those cameras and sensors, we use the wheel odometry, it's yep. called, which basically we track how many times the wheel motors turn mm -hmm. um, to know what type of, of turn we're making. Yeah. We use our RTK GPS, our dual antennas, mm -hmm. so we always know the angle that we're moving at within the map. Mm. Um, so and you we, know the precision and then like the turning. Correct, angle. correct. And as opposed to like a single antenna, a single antenna, if you lose GPS and then you get it back, you still need to drive about 10 feet to know which mm -hmm. way you're pointing. So mm -hmm. the dual antenna is a really big deal. Um, and the last one is our nine axis IMU. Mm. So we always know the orientation and the angle that uh, Yarbo is moving at, the speed. Mm -hmm. um, and so nine axis is so we can tell when Yarbo is this way, this way, this way, this way. Mm. Um, so you angle. still like know the right angles. Correct. Yeah. And then is there any like connection or relationship between the um, turning modes and then the obstacle avoidance? Sure. So that really you could think of that as the smart turn. Mm -hmm. So basically there, there's not really a connection between them. We rarely would do a three point turn around an obstacle unless it was in a really like uh, maybe a, almost a dead end area where we have to sneak through an object mm -hmm. on one side. Mm -hmm. But other than that, we try and just use smooth turns with very, very small movements um, mm -hmm. so we can keep as close to the obstacle as possible so we mm -hmm. don't leave a big uncut area. Mm -hmm. We get super close to the obstacle um, and with minimal turning so we don't damage the lawn and we can get right back on our path. Awesome. So that can just go straight over there. Okay, cool. Yep. And then, um, so the next question is, are there any plans or future like plans or optimizations for the new features? Yeah, so we're continually improving things, right? So even now our three-point turn, it's not as fast as we like it to be, right? Mm -hmm. That's one of the things we said, three-point turns take the most time to execute. Yep. Um, we are continually optimizing our path planning so mm -hmm. that when you do a, a plan, Yarbo over time will get more and more intelligent about what types of turns to use mm -hmm. in what areas, depending on how much space it has to work with. Mm -hmm. So smart turn is one implementation of that. Mm -hmm. uh, it used to be just three point turn, U turn and zero turn. Yep. We initiated smart turn um, because we know that now if you have an area that runs the longest longest way lengthwise, mm -hmm. we want to default to running with that so we do the least amount of turns instead yep. of going yep. side by side and making a bunch of small turns. Mm -hmm. So in the future, we just want to build upon that and continually optimize it to get the cutting time down mm -hmm. to get the area we can cover larger and larger. Um, so. I see. I see. Gotcha. Thank you, Ken, for answer those questions and explain yeah. the turning modes. So it's now your turn to ch uh, click on the app and then play around the turning modes. All right. All right. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please give a thumbs up and then subscribe and then uh, not click the notification bell. And then so you don't miss any future update. See you next time. Take care.